stay at home, protect our NHS, and save lives. I am officially declaring a national emergency. We will get through this together. The simple things that we took for granted became special to some extent. London was empty, but it wasn't silent. My mum is a retired NHS worker, seeing how it affected her seeing so many NHS workers, she said, like, fall. I did an editorial at the end of July, having that home-like setting was really cool because then it felt like a community made this small editorial. My biggest worry was younger people that were stuck at home with their parents and younger, younger queer people were stuck in situations where they couldn't be themselves. And for me, that's what the nightlife scene provides. So my whole thing was finding a way to make it still like pop, make it still happen. How can I still show people or show young people that are like myself that you can still do it? The Fashion Awards recognize and celebrate innovation in fashion. And this year shine a spotlight on those in the industry who've inspired us to develop a better future and taken actions on issues that require our immediate attention. Our consciousness has shifted, and collectively, we can all do more. Our communities, both locally and globally, have never been more essential. And it is important to recognize the positive impact the fashion industry has on global communities, as well as the role skills and craftsmanship can play in sustaining local livelihoods, especially in the light of the coronavirus pandemic. These honorees are catalysts for change and represent what is possible when philanthropic efforts are engaged, showing selflessness, compassion, and creative thinking to help others. The 2020 community recipients are... Emergency Designer Network. Kazette McCreary, Phoebe English, Holly Fulton, and Bethany Williams launched the Emergency Designer Network, which harnessed the power of London's fashion community galvanizing industry experts to produce 50,000 surgical gowns and 10,000 sets of scrubs for British health workers. We came together as a collective creative response to an unprecedented situation and I think it highlights how reactive the fashion industry can be, how agile we can be and how when we work together there really is strength in numbers and that we can achieve great things which initially seemed impossible. Michael Helper. During the COVID-19 lockdown, rather than stage a show for London Fashion Week, Michael paid tribute to the frontline workers. He captured eight women from across the public service sectors in film and portraits, reflecting on their work, sparking joy and hope. Being able to showcase these frontline workers in a way that felt exciting and 
hopeful and optimistic was really important for me. Everyone being able to come together in a way to make something really special, I'm so, so grateful for. Chanel. Chanel uses its influence to create positive change. Through the work of Foundation Chanel, it is committed to improving the economic and social conditions of women worldwide and has developed a racial justice fund to support grassroots organizations led by people of color. Chanel also continues its commitment to creative communities, supporting the craftsmanship and skills of independent artisan ateliers and workshops within the fashion industry. At Chanel, we are deeply committed to supporting the communities we work with. We are more than ever convinced that our creative energy and our people makes Chanel unique. Kenneth Eze. Kenneth is dedicated to preserving African craft and heritage through a community of weavers, artisans and design groups, placing Nigerian cultural heritage on a global stage. He is an inspiration to future generations. I thank everyone that has been part of the whole journey, even to the seamstress and to my production company. Um, I just thank everyone. Asai. Actively standing against injustice to make fashion inclusive and kind, Asai Ta uses his voice to call for an end to discrimination against marginalized communities and committing profits to organizations that support the end of systemic discrimination and racism. I hope that fashion will become a true reflection of the diverse, colorful world we live in and that we see beyond this year continued support in celebrating unsung voices. Thank you so much. Big love. amongst the general public, people can, they believe that black creators are all activists, when in reality, it's not that we're all activists, it's that the majority of the things that are happening are happening to our community, so it would not be responsible to be silent. It's not just a hashtag. It's not just this performative thing for likes and shares, and people need to understand this is our lives. Even though, you know, there's way more people of color shooting covers and modeling in covers, there's still a lot of those old traditional values that are still being upheld by gatekeepers in the industry. Although there's been a lot of optimism and positive things and progress, there's still things that we have to work on. has been an incredibly difficult year, but the past few months has also shown us the power we all have to make a difference. Earlier this year, protests erupted around the world in response to the systemic racism that is sadly still so prevalent in our society. Those protests spark much needed conversations about how we as a society must do more to build a future in which every person is treated as equal, no matter their background. A question that many of us kept coming back to was, how could we use our privilege, our platform to help others? The fashion industry is one of the most vibrant and influential industries in the world. But with that platform comes responsibility. It is no longer enough for the fashion industry to set trends. It needs to set more important trends of creating a more equal and representative society in which everyone is given the same opportunity to succeed. This is why I'm incredibly proud to be announcing the people category tonight. These individuals and organizations had left change in the fashion industry by encouraging equal, diverse, empowered workforces from head office, supply chain to shop floor. 
They have taken an active role in championing diversity, inclusion, and leading the fight against racism, and have used the power of their platforms to disrupt the status quo. The Fashion Award People Honorees of 2020 are. Edward Enenful. As editor of British Vogue, he is an agent of change, holding a mirror up to the industry. Congratulations on receiving a 2020 Fashion Award. You've really changed the fashion industry and you bring so much dynamism and passion and positivity into everything you do. We all need role models and I know that you are one for so many people. In hard times, artists survive. Art provides a way out of whatever state the world's in. So creativity is needed now more than ever to lift the spirits. Lindsay Peoples-Wagner and Sandrine Charles, Black and Fashion Council. In June 2020, Lindsay, Editor-in-Chief of Teen Vogue, and Sandrine, PR Executive, launched the Black and Fashion Council, whose aim is to build a new foundation for diversity, inclusion, and accountability to the fashion industry. I think taking the time to actually analyze how we've made a lot of decisions in fashion um, and being able to slow down and take that time has been a really big deal and allowed us the space to really broaden what we think of and how we choose who gets the power and how we choose all of these things is really important and, and it's been a time to reflect but also take action. We're truly humbled and excited to continue doing the work and we appreciate the acknowledgement. Samuel Ross. Samuel is part of a new generation of menswear designers. His brand, A Cold Wall, has a big impact on the communities that he works with. His Black Lives Matter financial aid scheme pledged money to organizations and people on the front line. He gave thousands of pounds in grants to businesses with black owners across a diverse range of areas. Really grateful to accept the award, but it's more than the award. It's more so about representing a community and representing new business habits of how fashion brands are going to be operating moving forward. Aurora James. This year, Aurora spearheaded a pioneering campaign calling on retailers to dedicate 15% of their shelf space to black-owned brands. This, along with her work with communities and artisans through her brand, Brother Veli's, makes her a trailblazer. 2020 has been an insane year for all of us. We had no idea the world was going to be turned upside down. We had no idea that each and every one of us was going to have to take on new battles, new struggles, new pivots, and find new hopes and new desires for this year. But we're done, we've done it, we're doing it. I think we've all been very graceful in the process. Priya Alawalia. Priya is a progressive thinking leader and an agent for change raising awareness around the challenges of the black community, especially this year in the wake of the Black Lives Matter movement. Priya, well done. Your personality, your design, your, your passion about sustainability, your alternative approach to the way you design, uh, everything is fantastic. So well done, you're a real example. Me accepting this award and being a part of this amazing process will encourage other people that look like me and come from backgrounds like me that they can do it too and not to be scared of, of going, for, going for things that they may be told that aren't for them.
Climate and ecological crises are global emergencies and demand a global response. Now more than ever, we must all play our part by raising awareness and taking responsibility through collective and individual action. We need to understand that we are all part of the problem, but that we can also be part of the solution. It is time to act. Frankly, the time to act was actually yesteryear. We can get through this together, but it will take immediate and bold action on all parts as designers, as industry professionals, as consumers, and as citizens. We don't have much time left, so it's time to make hard choices. What you choose to do next as a citizen of this beautiful planet we all share is entirely up to you. These five inspiring individuals and organizations have all made an immense contribution to making a better world and a better fashion industry that we can all be proud of. May we all be inspired by them and reset to change our future. The environment honorees of 2020 are Stella McCartney. Stella is a trailblazer and has raised the bar for the industry as a whole with sustainability shaping her brand's DNA. <laughs> Thank you so much, British Fashion Awards, for my environmental um, shout out. I am thrilled, along with all of the animals that we've saved here at Stella McCartney and everyone Ooh. on the team. This is for everyone at Stella. I just accept it on their behalf. Thank you. Anya Hindmarch. Anya is dedicated to reducing waste in the fashion supply chain and inventing new techniques and processes through her production. She supported the NHS through the creation of the Holster, reusable and washable gowns. This is a really special award actually um, and I think what I almost love most about the fashion industry is not only of course the creativity but is the incredible platform that it gives for positive change and for communication. There's never been a more important time to look after our planet so I very much accept this award. Christopher Rayburn. Christopher is a pioneer of the upcycling of surplus fabrics and proof that things can be done differently without sacrificing creativity. And the reality of the environmental crisis that we're all facing up to now is that we're going to need creativity, innovation, technical excellence, partnerships, all of these things working closely together more than ever before to ultimately solve the current issues. The Fashion Pact. Uniting a group of the world's top-tier fashion CEOs towards collective action on biodiversity. This year it has doubled its signatories, boasting more than 60 leading companies, together representing over 200 brands. I'm not receiving this award alone, but rather I'd like to dedicate it to the 60 plus CEOs across the fashion industry who have courageously stepped up. Stepped up to work together to achieve their shared objectives ensuring a more sustainable future for us all. Gabriella Hurst. Gabriella champions luxury with integrity, taking into consideration where materials come from and who is making them. Her spring-summer 2020 show was the first ever carbon neutral catwalk presentation. It really makes us so proud and encourages us to continue the work to make a most highest quality product with the lowest impact for the environment and really uh, push us forward in our quest to find a way to create and do business that it's in balance with nature. There is nothing uh, more enriching than using uh, our design capacities for a higher purpose. So thank you so much. doing some really interesting stuff right at the start of this year when everything sort of stopped. I was kind of thinking that it would just completely put on hold on everything, but I, I met Katie and Steve to do the Mew Mew campaign just in the forest. I genuinely never would have thought in my entire life that I would do something like that. 
out of the pandemic a little bit sooner than the rest of the world. Um, we've seen this huge influx of um, interest in the Chinese market. And I, th I think that's something definitely really interesting that is shifting in the industries. showroom and then 360 imagery has basically been the way that we've been selling uh, this season and this year. COVID kind of created the longest moment. My message has always been about community and how, you know, this one cool fashion thing can bring so many different kinds of people together.
the day that we were being asked to leave. So sorry, but you're not going to have a show as we know it. And students start to cry. Making clothes was always the priority. And suddenly having to channel the energy into making a film. That was just such an amazing opportunity for us old. And it was triumphant in the end. Fashion is a language, a tool for communication. And as a language, it allows you to be creative and express who you are. There are people that master this language as if they were poets. So the creativity honorees for 2020 are... Jonathan Anderson. This year, Jonathan redefined the possibilities of what a show can be in the COVID era by his inspired show concepts a cultural agitator and master fashion curator constantly pushing boundaries while upholding the values of craft and reaching new audiences. You know, it's a moment like this that, you know, where creativity always flourishes. I think the more difficult things are, um, the best ideas come out. Grace Wells Bonner. Grace is unique in her approach. Her designs evoke the rich history of African culture and challenge gender norms of black male masculinity and identity, gaining critical acclaim and coveted collectible status. I want to say a huge thank you to my team, to our partners and to the retailers we work with for their support over the last five years in helping us to achieve our mission. Prada, Mucha Prada and Raf Simmons. This year, Mucha Prada and Raf Simmons demonstrated the power of creativity and the importance of conversation and coming together to reimagine fashion for the future. There is one good, great thing uh, in this moment, and it is the possibility of thinking more and uh, to change, uh, to think about new possibilities and new challenges. And the fact that we are both here is a testimony to the importance and the power of dialogue within creativity. Our partnership at Prada was founded on this idea and our journey together at Prada has only just begun, but it is about exploration and creating something new through conversation, collaboration and dialogue. So thank you very, very much. Thank you. Ricardo Tishy and Burberry. Ricardo's creative thinking and ideas, teamed with Burberry's core values of inclusivity and sustainability, have made the brand one of the world's powerhouses and leaders of change. Thank you, BFC, for this incredible award. Today, more than ever, is a very important supercharge of your love. I'm so grateful for this amazing award. I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good night. Kim Jones. Kim's creativity continues to push boundaries. He is a global fashion leader whose work always makes the biggest impact through his innovation in design. I've been lucky enough to be at Kim's shows for Dior over the years, from Tokyo to Miami. He constantly excels and amazes. Kim, congratulations, and today we celebrate you. Create new things and look at yourself and put that into your work. That's really how things start and how people all over the world can make a difference in fashion. We've gone through a very tough year and tough times, so to bring joy to people, which is what fashion does, is a really important thing. Looking forward to a lot of things when this whole thing is done. Bless those that I know that I won't see in the summer sun. It's been a long time since I had a good old summer fling and I'm thinking there's a good few little things to be flung. Couple statues in the sea and then some statutes they got wrong. And then when that's all said and done, let's throw a party or two, throw some glad rags on. You in your Cleo corset, me in Bianca Saunders, looking anything but shy in Moa Lola and Asai. Looking bonny in Wells Bonner there, my friend, I have to say, but it's all coming off. It gets all hot and sweaty here at PDA. I wore these Prada shoes last year, but we're all about recycling. Face masks on the tubes these days, but still feel free to cycle. 
to the outdoor spot in Hackney, Brockwell Park or Hampstead Heath. Bring some speakers and a charger. We will need some energy to get this party proper started or restarted, so to speak. When it gets all dark and cold, we can go right back to the Haggerston. That's me there with a hot one on a Sunday baking off, listening to all our own friends' songs since they've all taken off. To smoke out in the garden, talking small, having it large, putting the world to rights, talking about equal ones, and where the funds go once they're raised, and who's not really changed their ways, how we can earn a higher wage for all our creativity. When the topic gets too dark for some, we'll go back inside for some more fun and dance it off. At least we live to fight another day. Funk and house up on the upstairs floor and jazz down on the ground. She and they and him all sweating up and drunken than before. Closing time. Let's hope the bouncers do not use excessive force. Police sirens in the distance. The balloon boys ride away. After part in the north of town where we're all down to go, you can hug a long lost lover. Say how much you've missed them so. Then when the party's over and it's back to south, you hope that the promises we made when high will still be true when low. Throughout the lows and highs, there's this one thing I know, that I was glad to have danced with you and to have made this world our home.